Welcome, dear brothers and sisters, to Mother and Refuge of the End Times. The following are thoughts and information from the Spirit Daily, published June 2024. O oh, those guardian angels, from Opus Sanctorum Angelorum. My guardian angel saved my life when I was 13. I was caught in an undertow at Virginia Beach and lost my inner tube. I was pulled far from the shore and the only swim stroke I knew was the dog paddle. I was afraid of dying alone. We hadn't gone to Holy Mass in a long time. My dad was deployed overseas and mum didn't drive, but I made a deal with God that if he saved me, I would find a way to go to Mass for the rest of my life. As soon as that prayer went up, I was surrounded by angels. I didn't see them, but their high-pitched voices sounded like children speaking directly to my mind and bypassing my ears. They spoke reassuring, encouraging words. I was no longer afraid as they remained with me. A helicopter hovered over me briefly and then flew away. I don't know why they didn't attempt a rescue. I was so far from the beach, the people looked like bugs. Meanwhile, my grandfather and an eight-year-old brother were searching for me as it was lunchtime. My brother noticed the helicopter and my head in the water just below. He said, Look, Papa, there's Joan. Could I have her hot dog? Papa sent a young man out to get me. As he approached, I heard him through my ears calling out the same encouragement the angels had used. The angels then vanished. Later, I was able to arrange rides to Mass for my brothers and myself and a neighbour. Now I also go to daily Mass. Joan O. I live alone in a very old house, a home that was built around 1948. One night, I went to bed and closed my bedroom door. I woke around 3 a.m. with a need to use the restroom. I got up and went to the door, reached for the doorknob to open the door, and to my surprise, the doorknob just spun around like a circle and the door did not open. I tried to open the door several times, and each time the doorknob just spun around. It certainly was not working. I felt some panic. What can I do? These were my thoughts. I could open the window, crawl out that way, but then I would be locked out of my house. No, I can't do that. Next, I thought, I can call my daughter. But no, she and her family live 30 miles away, and it's 3 a.m. I asked again, what can I do? I sat and I prayed. Please help me. I believe I asked this a few times. I got up, I went over to the door again, and I turned the doorknob again. It hadn't changed. It spun around. But something did happen. On the other side of the door, I heard a click, and the door opened. Thank God, I said. I walked into the restroom, and when I returned to my bedroom, I did not close the door again, but I continued my thanksgiving prayer since I realized that I did not open the door. The click sound clearly came from the other side of the door, and I knew it was my guardian angel. I shared this story with my pastor one time and he asked me, what do you think happened? I told him, I think that the Holy Spirit gave a nod to my guardian angel as if to say, it's okay, go ahead. And the door opened with a click from the hallway. What a blessing. I will always remember that night as a blessing from heaven. Bernadette. I grew up praying to my guardian angel every night and I never outgrew this important practice. For my own family, I faithfully beseech my children's and my husband's guardian angels every day by praying the guardian angel prayer one time for each of them. Angel of God, guardian dear, inserting the family member's name where it fits. A recent family experience confirmed for me the importance of this practice. My son celebrated a major college milestone by going skydiving for the first time with some friends. Despite the company having 20 years of safely helping people experience this sport, my motherly concerns were in high gear. We spoke to him while on the way to Mass and just before he boarded the plane and everyone prayed to his guardian angel at Mass for his safety. Independently of this, his brother was also praying at Mass almost 300 miles from our location. The priest gave an excellent homily about us not having any idea when God will call us home. And yes, our son called us after Mass and began with, Mom, I'm calling before you see this on the news. All of his friends made their jump, with my son being the last one to leave the plane. In fact, he was the last jump of the day. He came safely to Earth and then turned to see the plane suddenly point straight downward and nosedive straight into the Earth. 
The young pilot tragically died on impact, and we grieve for him and his family. An investigation determined that the engine failed right after my son jumped from the plane. At that point, the pilot lost control and crashed. We believe God and our son's guardian angel intervened in saving our son and his friends. Interestingly enough, our other son was in a motorcycle accident one week prior to this event and walked away with only minor injuries. I asked both my sons to please let their guardian angels have some rest. Donna J. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Please see our book, Pieta of the Apocalypse. Follow the link for the details. Welcome to Mother in Refuge of the End Times. Today we are excited to present our latest creation made with the support of Labore Metals. We present to you the Mother of Tenderness Medal. This medal of our Blessed Mother features Our Lady holding the baby Jesus close to her cheek. The original icon is renowned for Our Lady's tender love and protection of her children and her deliverance from invading enemies. It is a sign of our tender love for Mother Mary and her tender love of us, her children in Christ. The medal was especially made for Mother in Refuge of the End Times. This medal is completely hand-drawn and is exquisitely made. This medal was crafted to be among the highest quality of medals that are currently being produced. It features small details such as carved roses, a deep picture-like frame with artistic stitching surrounding the head of Our Lady. This medal is available in either antique silver or an antique copper finish. We hope that you will help support this channel by purchasing this medal. All proceeds will go to help us continue to create content for our viewers and promote Our Lady's heavenly messages. As always, we thank you for your support of our ministry and may Our Lady of Tenderness pray for you and your loved ones. May God bless you and keep you and may the tender and immaculate heart of Mary be your refuge. Amen.